Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a Fortress in Shadow, the second omnibus of the Dread Empire Chronicles by Glenn Cook. This contains the fourth and fifth novels of the series, which are The Fire in His Hands and With Mercy Towards None. Good God. I I imagine a Glenn Cook book with a name like With Mercy Towards None. Without even reading that, you can already tell the, the, the level of... In of madness is gonna go down but um but yeah after reading it I can safely say that the chaos and just the just the sheer the, the sheer exuberant rampage continues um, from it just rolls straight over from the first omnibus in the series um, with the fire in his hands we get a sort of a step back we we, we get a book that steps back in time and as it slow as, as it plays out i realized that this book actually takes place somewhere in between the first three novels of the series we get we see events from a different perspective and we get a lot of the holes in those stories filled out it's almost as if this was th th this book was practically it, it read practically like different Parts of those three books were just was just extracted and made into a book all its own. How um how integrated it is in terms of the timeline with those three books. It's only towards the end that it kind of starts to it it kind of goes past the the point in time that we left off at the end of the third book and we see some new stuff. But um but yeah, it, it's like. It, it, it's a shift that really works well as we it, it helps us understand the story on a much more on a much deeper level um, yeah, that, that's uh, that's enough that's all I'll say about the timeline stuff um, I I saw even more similarities with ju just this book and the um, Black Company books and the, even Stephen Erickson's Malazan Book of the Fallen. This time around, and I can't believe this didn't click in the first three books, but this time around, we saw, because, maybe it's because we saw more of him, more of his style in this in this particular book, but um, I, I realized that one of the characters in this book is basically the prototype for the character who would become Krupp. For, from Stephen Erickson's Miles and Book of the Fallen. Fallen. So if you're a crop fan, you can find him. You can basically find his inspiration in this in this book, The Fire in His Hands, fourth novel of the Dread Empire Chronicles by Glenn Cook. Um, it, it the, the the book in general, because of what it deals with, it strongly reminds me of Dead House Gates from Miles and Book of the Fallen. I should probably stop compare. I should probably stop. When I'm talking about these books, I should probably just stop comparing them to like Malazan Book of the Fallen. But it's hard to because, like, the at this point, having read like all three series, it it's kind of clearing how much inspiration was taken from um from these books, almost to the point of plagiarism. <laughs> um, the, the it, it's a very thin line, and I and I think Stephen Erickson came very very close to that line. I personally think it's um it's coming more from a place of enjoyment and homage, but I can easily see if someone decides to to um to accuse him of plagiarism of Glenn Cook, he's um uh, he's gonna have a very tough time of it <laughs> proving them wrong. Um, but yeah, it it just continues to amuse me also how just how miserly Glenn Cook is. Like this guy does not like. It, it's almost like it it. It goes against his very the green to put an an extra word <laughs> on this in 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 his novel. Um, like in one sentence we'll have thirteen months pass. In another sentence we'll have three three years pass. Um, and it, like in for other fantasy writers that would probably take like a whole book, and he just cuts it down to like one sentence. <laughs> it's just it's just crazy. And um, maybe it's because of this, like, just abrupt, very, very miserly writing style. His, his books just feel so much more fast-paced and action-packed and insane. Um, 
like when things happen things really happen think things happen very fast very high yeah. it's um it's crazy it's just crazy they um maybe in this book it, it just feels even more amped up than normal but then again that's because of what it all builds up to which is the very the very aptly named with mercy towards none this is the book in which things really come to head like war breaks out in full force um like full scale wars uh religious wars and that we have the el Murid wars um play out in this book and with the title with mercy towards none you can just imagine what we're talking about in terms of the sheer scale of death and just the, just the amount of people that die in this book, you you can you can get you you get you get the idea. Um, I think um, one one the the other thing I really enjoyed about this book, other than fight, other than the like sheer scale of the war that goes on, is um, is Mocker's backstory, which we finally get. Um, we find out like how he eventually falls in with King Bragi and it, it, it's interesting to say the least given Mocker's place in this um in this series and his heritage um I don't want to talk too much about that because there's there's a lot that can be said about how that plays out and um I think this was the book at which point at which point is I, I really started thinking um there there's that that Steven Erickson really towed the line with plagiarism with these books. It, it's just so like just just the it it would be very generous at this point to really say play, um it's inspiration. But yeah. <laughs> that's what it is, right? Um other than that it's just standard Glenn Cook at this point. Very, very miserly writing. A metric ton of betrayal, treachery, backstabbing. Of course, and and then of course there's like full on war going on. So, I think that's pretty much all I can say about these two books. Like, it, it just continues just the epic romp that was started in the first three books. It just really extends it, escalates it. Um, because like a lot of the threads that were starting to come together in those books really came to a head in these. Um, and yeah, absolutely fun. Everything we love about going cook and more, in a nutshell. Um, have you guys read this omnibus? These, or at least these books? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And until next time.